Hi, I'm Eunice Robinson, and I'm the president of the Sea Island Heritage Society. The Sea Island Heritage Society started about 1995, and by about 2002, we got a little bit more formalized by forming our society. We collect everything and anything about Sea Island. Whether a person lived there for five minutes or 50 plus years, we want to talk to you. So we are collecting anything to preserve the history of Sea Island, which was a very unique place to grow up in. So the Sea Island Heritage Society is doing many small projects within our giant project. We have uh, the school uh, photograph collection that we're continuing to add to. We have um, different things like house history. If you have a picture of your house on Sea Island, we'd love to have some of those early photographs. We're collecting things like a girl guide, a brownie, scout, and cub information if you have photographs on those. There's just a myriad of projects. The, the newest one is our paper boy, paper girl collection. So if you were a paper boy or paper girl on Sea Island, we'd love to hear from you. We have the school teacher a biography project. So if there, anyone was a teacher of us on Sea Island, we're working on a biography on them. One fact about uh, Sea Island that many people don't know, it was actually the home of Richmond. It started on Sea Island. Uh, the very first council meeting was there. And so that was something that we, we didn't really know ourselves when we started this project. My name is Barbara Nielsen. I'm vice president of the Sea Island Heritage Society. And like Eunice, I grew up on Sea Island. My main job with the society is to do the pioneer family trees. And I work on ancestry and I have over 100 trees. And I have a few here in the binders. Um, it's been very interesting. In fact, I found my own great grandfather had a farm on Sea Island. And so I've been enjoying the research doing that and am very anxious to be in contact with descendants of the pioneers so they can share their stories with me as well. So if members of the public would like to get in touch with the Sea Island Heritage Society, go to our website and send us an email and we'll get back to you. If you have any members of your family that lived on Sea Island or pioneers that you'd like to get in touch and learn more about, do phone us, do contact us, and we'll see if we can help you.